Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the evolving spirit. Shout out to the beautiful Patreon family as well. It is a pleasure to have each and every one of you all. And shout out to the only fan souls. I enjoy assisting each and every one of you all, Soul Tribe. And thank you so much for that. All right. And welcome, Aries, to the ones that are new here. It is a pleasure and an honor to have you here. Thank you for tuning in today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, Aries, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here as well, Aries, a part of our soul family. And Duffy, be sure to adjust your notification bell for when I go live here on this platform, all right? And shout out to the beautiful OnlyFans. Thank you so much. I definitely hope you all are enjoying the content there as well with the Raw Tarot Index cards. Yes. All right, so no further ado here, Aries. We're going to go ahead and dive into your love reading here today. Uh, we're going to dive directly in here and get some oracle messages in regarding your love life here with using the Love Romance Angel deck. And then we'll dive into tarot here and we'll close out by using my raw tarot index cards. All right, so no further ado, Aries. Let's dive in. Wow, we have here free yourself. Okay, this always reminds me of the Eight of Swords energy because it's like as if the um, unicorn here is inside of a gate that they're trapped in, that they can't get out of. And we know unicorns, they're very unique, all right? So there are not any ways that a unicorn can stay blocked in forever because they're unique, they're different, all right? And I feel like this is the same as you. You're very individual you're a very unique individual here, Aries, okay, basically. And spirit wants you here to free yourself. Take your fucking power back here, Aries, and know that you are worth having and deserving of. So it seems like here, spirit, when it comes to your love life with the Love Romance Angel deck here, all right, spirit wants you to take back control of your love life. This is not how your love life has to be, Aries, and this is damn show what your love life don't have to look like. You are the creator of your universe, Aries, so however you want that to look for you and your love life, it can be just like you want it to be. You are the creator. You are the magician, all right? I feel like I needed to say that for someone again. All right, so no further ado, Aries, let's dive in here to the tarot with the past, the present, the future. All right, let's see what's going on with the connection with you and your person or whomever is on your mind. Ooh, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Now, this is Earth Elements here, Aries. This person here could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, all right? Someone here, I feel like, really is working towards whatever this goal that they may have in mind, right? If this is you or the energy that you are exchanging with here, okay? I do see effort here being applied towards whatever this is that this individual has a goal for, all right, I actually see this person working towards whatever this here is that they're wanting to actually take the actions for, okay? So, right, if that's romantic partnership here or within their career, their finances, uh, I definitely see action being taken behind whatever it is that this person is setting the intentions for, okay? So, let's see what's going on in the present moments here. Wow, we have the Six of Swords. Yes, moving towards those karma waters, all right? Going towards places where you know you will be appreciated here, Aries, is where I feel here in this new environment. You're going to start meeting like-minded people here as well. More people that are on your frequency vibration and are here to support you, all right, not to look down on you, okay? So know that where you're going, you are protected here, Aries, all right? And your guardian angels want you to know that you are now from here looking up. All right, whatever type of situation or circumstance that you may feel like you were involved here in in the past, it was all for a reason to get you where you're at right now. So know that where you're going and where you're headed here is definitely in a better peaceful environment and better opportunities for you when it comes to romantic partners and when it comes to 
just overall your life, your career, things that you've been wanting to manifest for yourself because I see the actions being actually applied here and taken into consideration here, okay? Um, some of y'all may be deciding to relocate here, Aries, and move to another city or another state here and take your family here as well. Some of y'all could have come up out of an overwhelming or challenging relationship here where, of course, you may was portrayed by your spouse or by your partner here, your counterpart here, and you are now working towards deciding to remove yourself from this relationship or connection here. And again, taking your power back over here with the unicorn, okay? I love it. I love the way the reading here is outlining everything here for you. So let's see where you're headed here in the future. Wow, you may have more than one option, Aries, okay? Or you may have more than one opportunity here with the two of pentacles here, okay? This talks about juggling or trying to balance your love life and your career or whatever it is that you're wanting to focus here on. So let's clarify the two of pentacles. We want to make sure that um, what you are looking forward to in the future here is to be aware of here okay because as i mentioned before you know it uh it took some of you all to be in this space here to move forward and now realizing because you let go of people places or certain situations and circumstances here aries that you find yourself no longer resonating with as you've been able to let go one by one of the surroundings of yourself from your past now you're going to start seeing how you have made space and opportunities for new people, for new things to come your way, for new opportunities here. And I feel like as that is happening, it's like you are trying to uh, balance all of these new opportunities. You may wasn't aware that all of these opportunities was going to come in so quickly here, right? So let's clarify. Let's clarify the two of pentacles here for you. Wow, beautiful messages here coming out for you so far here, Rams. I definitely hope the message here today has fulfilled your spirit here, loves. And again, if so far, don't forget to like, like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Aries, a part of our soul family. All right, and if you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, my email details is down below in the description box, my love. So let's clarify the two of pentacles here for you, Aries. Let's clarify the two of pentacles from my realms, please. Yeah, look at that. I said you got so many opportunities coming towards you. And it's like, you're like, oh my goodness. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to start. Okay. But it just took you having to leave a situation or overcome whatever obstacle challenges was. So it's like the universe is about to give you an overflow here of blessings, honey. All right. And some of you all, again, this could be an earth sign here that you may be going into a new romantic relationship here with okay this could be a Taurus, a capricorn here or a virgo okay so let's see here what energies now are surrounding you because you have a lot of offers and a lot of opportunities here that are coming towards you so we're going to close out and use my raw tarot index cards here again shout out to the only fans page i appreciate you all i definitely have been enjoying the content there as well um if you're new here and you would love to join the only fans page it's only five dollars and 55 cents a month and that gives you energy check-ins for all the zodiac signs that i post here on youtube so you'll be able to be first to get a feel of what the reading is going to be expected of and what is the energy that's coming to that reading, okay? And I use my raw tarot index cards here to get more insight and details for those energy check-ins. So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, that link is on the home page and also the about me page for you to sign up for the OnlyFans page. And I definitely welcome you there and can't wait to get to meet you all, all right? So let's go ahead and see what are the energies that are surrounding you at this time. What do we have here for my Aries, Gordon Angels, Ancestors? Thank you so much. Wow, I feel my best around you. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all have met someone new here in this new environment here already. All right. Like I mentioned, some of y'all may have decided to relocate or move to another city or another state or even start a new career for yourself. And you're going to end up meeting someone that is going to make you happy or put you in a better place, right, than where you were from your past or the typical relationship here that you had in your past. Wow. And soon as I said that, look at that. I will make it all up for you. So I feel like whoever this person that you now have met 
or is going to meet here in the future for some of y'all because some of y'all may have already met this person here and some of y'all may haven't okay but this person is going to want to reinstate to you that look I already feel my best around you and I'm going to make up everything that your ex didn't do. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. We have here. I'm telling the truth. Okay. So someone is going to do more than just talking here. And that's where I feel like where the eight of pentacles here is coming in at. Someone is going to do more than just the talking and actually taking actions behind what they say. Yeah. Look at that. I get happy. I get so happy when I see you. So you make this person actually want to apply themselves and work toward this connection here. Because this is someone that feels that you're giving them genuine appreciation. All right. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. They know. I know what I want, period. So someone here definitely knows what they want. And it's unfortunate that who in the past maybe didn't. They didn't unfortunately realize who you were and the worth that they had when they had you. Yeah, look at that. We got, they lost, you won, okay? So this person's like, look, they lost and you won because you are mine now, okay? Yeah, look at that. I will wait for you. And this person is willing to be patient because some of you all, you know, you're still healing. You're still coming out of this energy from your past and the connection, the relationship that you were in here. So you're still overcoming here. The process, I feel as well, in healing and just taking day by day and step by step here with this process and transitioning I see here for some of you all. And it's definitely going to be well worth the wait here, Aries. Okay. Wow. I'm going to leave this portion here of the reading here. But however, again, if you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, my email detail is down below. Again, thank you so much, beautiful soul tribe. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And if you would love to extend your stay and become a part of our Patreon family as well, uh, that message and those links are down below as well in the description box and also on the home page and the tab page, all right? Uh, you do get full access to all the readings here before I post them here on YouTube. You get daily content on ways to evolve through astrology, numerology, and your birth chart readings. You also there get um, free questions each and every time I go live for the Patreon family as well. So we definitely have a good time over there loving ourselves, understanding our relationships, and most of all, evolving, all right? So thank each and every one of you, our realms, and I definitely look forward to you all's next reading. Bye-bye.